demonetized. We're live. We're live. Say hello, Metal J. Hello, Metal J. Hello, Tampa J. Where, Where are we? We're at the Toy Addict. The Toy Addict, collectibles, toys, and video games here in Riverview, Florida. I've driven by this place countless times and never stopped in. I, well, I drive by it every day going to the gym and going to work. So. Well, that's good. I'm glad you invited me out. I'm gu guilty of uh, procrastinating. Okay, so guys, so we're going to head on inside right now. And we are obviously live. Um, if someone shows up, we'll get to your comments right away. Well, in a minute. We're going to go have some fun. Okay, so let's go inside and explore the toy addict. After you, sir. Okay. Michelangelo. Hey guys. hey guys, what's up Russell? Hey guys. Hey. Of course this is where I zero in first and foremost. All hail the Star Wars. Yes. And they have a bunch of them that I am missing. And Look at that. Look at this folks. All these figures now. These are the more modern ones. What are these down here? These are the vintage. The vintage ones. The good stuff. All right. Oh, here Mario Rico. Look at all that, man. So here we got more of its stuff. More Star Wars yeah. here. Look at all that. And then once we get down here, this is a little more current. Yeah. Also have to all DC, kinds of Marvel, stuff. Marvel DC, and at the bottom we got some wrestling. Wrestling figures in there. Man. There's some Sting. They got all kinds of stuff in here, and we've just begun. There's some turtles down here. I didn't see that. Oh, yeah, I missed them, too. Oh, look, look at that old button back there. Oh, from the movie. From the movie, yeah. yeah. And a whole thing full of wrestling figures right there under the draft. Okay. What? There's this, old this stuff there. This is a good example of, like, something I was telling you about. Yeah. You can't see it. It's hard to see here. This is... Pre-Cyborg Grievous. Pre-Cyborg Grievous? Yeah, look at that. If you can get a good glimpse of it. Yeah, I kind of got him right there behind Luke. It's kind of hard to see him. I know. It's pretty cool. Yeah. What else you got in this massive place? Uh, this place has just got a lot. There's a video games over there, but we'll get them eventually. Another cool thing is some of these. Man, I like these, this stuff. I have all of these still in the cardstock. This was a multimedia thing that Lucasfilm did where it was a book, it was a video game, they had comic books, mm -hmm. they made action figures, and it was basically the story between um, episode five and six, I'm yeah. looking for Han, and it's, I don't know what the success was of it, but it was a cool story, Yeah, and I don't think it's actually part of of canon now that Disney took over. Right. But uh, there's some really cool figures and stuff. Check out the, Shadows of the Empire. Check out this Ghostbusters Ghost Zapper still in the box. I had one of these bad boys. Yeah. I remember wanting all that stuff. And I also had one of these, and I remember it being a lot bigger than it used to be. The Ghost Trap and the Ecto Falcon. Look at all these. Ghostbusters figures, but those are cool. Whew. That's awesome. All the Transformers. Look at all the Transformers figures there. Over there. Whoa. <laughs> what else we got, Metal J? Lots of Jabba's. Oh, yeah, a lot of Jabba's. Yeah, I remember this. Oh, jeez. These are really rare to find it with the pieces and stuff yeah it's though. got it on there but the funny thing i remember about this you open it up you see all the oh sweet the bones and stuff it was supposed to be like the pit for the rain yeah. or <laughs> i've actually never seen this before now there's like pieces that would go here for his uh his bong that he'd smoke or whatever it is <laughs> yeah and there then, it is you'd have a little salacious crumb. Yeah, the slave there <laughs> the little the little guy salacious crunch <laughs> look at this this is old, man. This is definitely 77. It's not in the best shape, but it's still a cool relic. How much is it? I don't know, but uh, 1977. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess right. It is. Uh, oh, it's got the thermos in there too. Whoa. So awesome. 
Wow, look how good shape it's in. That's not bad, man. You like, might be able to clean some of that up. Yeah, Someone's like, gonna grab that. Usually, like, you know, you see stuff worn away, like the yeah. paint and stuff. That's not bad price for that. No. I mean, if I had it, I would get it. So, we're on budget today. Budget, budget, budget. Okay, so they also have a lot of Lego figures here. I didn't see these. A whole collection. You name the character and he's got it. Three cases full. From Star Wars, yeah. Disney, Batman, Marvel, wow. DC. Yeah, it's especially Star sweet. Wars. It looks awesome when they're all set up like that. Yeah. So that's... Look at, look at this Yoda in the front. He's got a Santa outfit on. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Santa Yoda. Cool, man. I wonder oh, if they made that at the, the, the Lego store. So if we just give you From the special edition. Yes, the this is digitized A New Hope. You got and Return of the Jedi. So, yeah, I don't know how you want to do it, but you could do something like that. All right, Space Jam. So that was that was pretty much half the story. You want to go over to the video games? Yeah, I found something really cool sitting in a pile. Right okay. Hey, I think someone's watching us live. So we're live here at the Toy Addict in Riverview, Florida. We've seen a lot of cool vintage toys, and now we're all over to the video game. Oh yeah, this is cool. Old school. Dungeons and Dragons. You, you know you're a real nerd if you've owned any of this stuff. Oh yeah, that's right. Kyle Porter's in the house. What's up, Kyle? Got some more D and D handbooks and stuff. I remember me and my friends playing this stuff when we were teenagers. Total nerds. Yeah, Demogorgon. Demogorgon. <laughs> That's yeah, cool stuff. This, this is cool. This now is check this fun. out. Now this is what the court cartridge wars is all about. You just dig your hands right in. Look at all these cartridges. That's right. There's all kinds of good stuff in there, probably. Yeah, I don't have a Game Boy to play with. And they got new stuff in here too. They got an Xbox One game, and I keep going back and forth. This is actually a good price for Friday the Thirteenth. I can't find a used one anywhere. And these are still going for about forty three ninety nine. So I'm I'm really thinking about picking that up. That's right, Kyle. You were just saying, when are we going to have a new uh, Cartridge Warriors? And we are right now, live. Live with Metal J. It's Hampton J. Here I am. That's right. Okay, let's check out this case over here. There's some cool stuff down here. Knights of the Round is still in the box. That's a cool game. Yeah, NES. You know what the problem is? Is We always find the really awesome and expensive stuff. <laughs> Hmm. Original Mega Man. Real Mega Man. Yeah. Oh yeah. You got uh, a lot of games I loved as a kid in here. The G.I. Joe, the Atlantis Factor, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Gunsmoke. Um what else did we have in here that's really awesome? All the ninja games. Yeah. I'm still looking for that um Silver Surfer. Robocop and Terminator. Wolverine. A lot of games I forgot they made. There's a Star Wars one over there. I didn't yeah, see that I one. have the box for that. Dude. How much do they want for that one? Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. I have the box. I have the uh, the instructions. I don't have the game. <laughs> yep. There's that RoboCop versus Terminator I'm looking for, but I need it in Genesis. I don't have a uh, Super, Super nice. Nintendo right now. I have an NES and a Genesis and an Xbox One. Got all kinds of awesome stuff over here. Oh, I thought this was I thought this was pretty cool. I don't know if anyone's ever seen this, but it's the power to Nintendo, still in the box. It must be a pretty darn good collectible because they want 115 bucks for it. But never seen that before. There's something interesting down here that I've never seen before too. Uh, this game here, it's called Marvel Superheroes in War of the Gems. I wonder if that's like an Infinity oh, Stone kind of like uh, Tetris kind of game or something. I don't know. I might have to look, look that either. little. All right. Got a lot of cartridges over there. Next to Batman. We're gonna, we're gonna Google that because I'm interested. That's, that's right. Uh, you call it Google. I like to call it Ziggy. Ziggy. <laughs> Out of the popular TV series, my favorite, by the way, Quantum Leap. But he's gonna look that up. We're gonna go over here a little bit. Darth Vader. Give you a 
kind of a visual of the whole store. All right. And they have, uh, of course, like any good video game store, you got to be able to test the product. So they got all the consoles set up here so you can test it out. And a free drink. And Lisa. Okay, so did you find it? That's okay. Well, <laughs> no, it's this store is very interesting, but um, we're we're up on the ten minute mark. Is there anything else you want to talk about or see in here before we it is a very wrap nice, it up? Nice place. There's a lot of little hidden gems. Even though yeah, it's, it's a small place. He's got a lot of cool stuff. Yep. In here. So it's definitely and I got the card. Yes. Can you take the camera, Metal J? I can. I'm gonna try to find the card. I know I did some with it. Did I put it in my pocket? Cool. Oh, okay. All right, so if you guys are in the Riverview, Tampa Bay area, here's the card right there. That's our man right there, Russell Fitzsimmons. It's at 6520 U.S. Highway 301 uh, South Suite 110, Riverview, Florida. And come on by if you're in the area and check out the Toy Addict. So, that being said, let's end it right, with a lightsaber. lightsaber over my shoulder. Yeah. I want some porg step on it. All right. Well. I'm going to own one of these one day. Yeah, me too. My wife will allow me to buy it. I'll have to buy one here, one here, and then the poster in the middle. Put it on the wall. I've seen people do that. I know they look awesome when they do that. Yep. So, thanks for watching, everyone. And... That was another adventure of me and Metal J, Tampa J, <laughs> of the Cartridge Warriors. See you later. You're getting the Jawa? Okay. And I might get that Friday 13th game. All right. See you guys. Bye-bye.